Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. This is our first episode in Bali. If you have been following me over on my Instagram, you would know that I moved to Bali about two weeks ago and it's very noisy here. <laughs> As soon as I press record, all the animals are like going for it. Anyway, this is the second time I've had to film this. I did film this yesterday in my temporary kind of office, um, but the color was crazy and I couldn't correct it. So now I'm like, whatever, I'm just filming this on my phone. So it's interesting that this is all happening because we're in the shadow period of Mercury retrograde, which is gonna be coming into effect on the new moon, which will be in about a week or so. So Mercury is basically the planet that rules communication, travel, and electronics. So pay particular attention to this. This is an opportunity to see things that you may have missed. Maybe you've been going like super duper fast, um, you know, guns blazing, and you got to a stage where you were like, ah, oh, I didn't realize this was happening. So Mercury retrograde is actually a beautiful thing. You just have to choose the perspective in which you view it. So with that being said, this week it's February the 25th until the 3rd of March. We're going through three phases of the moon. The first one is the disseminating moon, which is when we receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. So that is a very, very exciting time. Then we also have the last quarter. So this is gonna be from Tuesday to Friday. This is when we breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we have the beginning of the balsamic moon. This is when you reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. I can't stress this point enough. So many of you say, oh, Mel, um, I'm really tired now, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, did you rest during the balsamic moon? You're like, no. And I was like, well, what do you think is going to happen? It's the perfect time where you don't feel guilty for spending extra time just on you. I disconnect from social media. Um, I don't know how this is going to look here in Bali um, because usually I would go camping. I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'll figure something out and I'll keep you posted. So if you're brand new, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Monday. They're typically at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, but make sure you have notifications turned on because this is very rare that a video isn't at that time. And I had to surrender so much to be like, okay, there's just not going to be a video. I'll have to refilm it. And you know, I'm just saying I am where I am and it's okay. I'm... There's a lot of changes that occur when you move countries, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Anyways, let's get on to the reading. This is a general reading and I'm gonna be using the Shadowscapes Tarot today, which is my favorite tarot currently until Christiane releases her brand new deck. And then she said she'll send me that one. So that would be exciting. All right, for Monday. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. So this is an opportunity of also releasing. Um, it's interesting because this is the receiving phase of the moon, but this is also could be giving something a well, like you could be releasing something, but it's like your trash could be somebody else's treasure. Have a look at the, she's got quite a number of bowls around her with fish in it that she is releasing. And the four of cups, if you go one before, it's like, I always sing that song. Um, when will my reflection show who I am inside? With the five of cups, this is more so going like, you know, I know that this isn't serving me where I'm at and I'm releasing, which is interesting because maybe you're giving something away which then brings abundance to other people. Let's get clarity on Monday. And I have to surrender to what this reading is because the one that I did yesterday, I loved it. I loved the theme song. So I just have to say, angels, tell my MK love fam what we need to know. Maybe that reading wasn't meant to go out. Maybe something shifted and they're like, oh my God, Mel, I gotta tell you this. Who knows? <laughs> All right, clarity on the five of cups. Well, there's quite a lot of clarity, but there's two cards that fell directly onto that five of cups. So I'm just gonna take it. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have the Two of Cups again, which is also about the balance and this is also about partnership. Then we also have the Page of Cups. So this is a very emotional day. So this is you releasing things that don't serve you, 
to bring you closer to either yourself or somebody else. This is a partnership. This could be a business partnership as well. And then the five of cups is like sitting back and drinking that beautiful chai tea latte. And this is an opportunity where you're just breathing with ease. It's so interesting because <laughs> Tuesday it goes into the breathe with ease. But as I've said before, I read Monday generically for everyone, but no matter where you are in the world, Monday will be a basis for what, what to expect. Because of the different time zones, I'm just saying, angels, what do my MK love fam need to know collectively around the energies of Monday? So this is like releasing something to do with a partnership. And then it's also just, maybe you're still continuing to release some blockages with the full moon. Some of you still could be doing that. I know my clients did amazing work on Saturday, um, released some pretty big blockages. So yeah, let's just keep going and then at the end we'll do the focus card to find out how to bring it all together. By the way, it is so hot here and I filmed this yesterday in the office, which doesn't look like an office just yet because I'm manifesting and um, eight o'clock I'm sweating. So I don't even know if this face is going to stay on. <laughs> All right, Tuesday. So this is the last quarter. This is breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love. Let's see what we need to know. Tuesday, please angels for my MK love fam. We have one card for clarity. There's a lot of scooters around here too. And by, by um, I don't know what I was gonna say by, but this is the quietest area I could find a house to rent. Oh, there it is, it came out. Oh yes, this came out in the reading as well. We've got the chariot. So the chariot is, it's, it's like a momentum. It's interesting because it's like breathing with ease and giving back from a place of love. So this is like momentum, but this is also momentum as like, you don't have to worry. Like it's, if you need, and there is a lot of dog fights here. Dogs are kind of not considered pets here. I don't know if you can hear that, but as a vegan, I'm like, oh God, are you all right? But it, it's considered normal here. Well, people don't really seem to care, which is kind of hard for me to adjust to. Anyway, so the chariot, going back to the chariot. This one is about movement. This is usually fast moving energy. So you're breathing and knowing that it's going to, oh, there we go, it's going to pass. It's not gonna be with you forever. And then I heard, never, never, never enough for me, for me, for me. Okay. <laughs> We're getting all the same cards as last reading. Awesome. And now we have the Hermit. I've been, I was saying in my head that I was going to move on to Wednesday, but I'm just going to go with it. So the Hermit card, which is interesting because this is the breathing, but it's like the Hermit card is a massive opportunity for you literally to go within. You know, how do you breathe with these? Like we've got a lot to do with just breathing, especially the Page of Cups as well. So this is an opportunity. And I just saw there's another card I have to pull out too. Hold on. Huh. Okay, so the Eight of Cups. This is a very emotional type of week. Um, the Eight of Cups is choosing what feels best for you and just taking it and going with that. Um, so if you feel like you're a little bit under the weather, if you have been working super duper hard and you feel like you've manifested illness and disease within your body, because I know some of you actually have become sick, especially in your nasal, nasal cavity, um, you need to do what is best for you. If you need to take time away from other people, do it. If you need to have an afternoon sleep, do it. If you need to sleep in for an extra hour, do it. Whatever feels best, but your angels are saying you really need to reconnect back in because maybe you have lost your way or maybe your angels are trying to communicate your next level of healing, but you're not in the receptive mode to receive it. So they're just basically saying, take time to rest Rest is quite a lot this week, even though we have the chariot, but I feel like the chariot is a reminder. It's like, if you rest, it's okay. The wheels, big wheels keep on turning. It's like, it's gonna keep going. The momentum is still going to be there. It's okay to take yourself away. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so for Thursday, we're still in the last quarter. What do we need to know? Thursday, one card, please. Thursday. Energy's different. Oh, there we go. Holy smokes. 
Okay, we're getting a lot of threes. So the first card that I saw is the King of Swords. Whoa, so this means that you have gotten to an end of a battle. And then I had these battles, guys, don't think that I'm fading. Don't think they're ever gone away. Guys, Sebastian, Battle Scars. Ooh, that's amazing. So he is an amazing artist as well. But this is like you've gone to a point where it's like, don't stop me now because I'm having a good time. It's like you're not allowing the contrast of what's been going on to penetrate into your subconscious anymore. You're like, you know, that is enough. Like, cut it out. Enough is enough. It's like you kind of protecting your vibration, however that looks like for you. And it's like, this is you like ending massive blockages. This could be you saying like, I'm done with this shit. Like I'm literally done. And you're going with, going back to the eight of cups, you're going with what feels best. If you're feeling angst and you're feeling overwhelmed and you're like down in like level 22, or level 23 of the emotional guidance scale or anything really below 15 from worry, and you're like, this isn't serving me. And you're doing what you know feels best for you to get you back on track. And this is a massive accomplishment. This is a massive achievement. You have done something that has ended something that is being either toxic for your soul or what, but there's some other cards that came. Whoa, okay, so you have, <laughs> you've changed your perspective. The hangman is you have literally changed your perspective. And like the five of pentacles, it's like, ah, oh, it's interesting that these two came together and that was separate. So this is what you're working with. You changed your perspective about a situation and you have decided to stop feeling sorry for yourself. And you've looked up, you've seen the light and you're like, I'm choosing all of my decisions from a place of love and not fear. I just looked at the camera and it said 1144. 11 is a new chapter, 44 is stability. So the stability is coming now that you have changed your perspective. That's exciting. All right, Friday. What do you need to know for Friday? Angels, one card for Friday for my MK Love fam. There it is. Oh, what? The King of Cups. Okay, so this is getting to the end. So you've got two big things that you have completed. So the King of Swords is like ending contrast, but this is also like ending how you have always felt through this contrast it's like you've literally think of it like you've got a sword and you've just like cut it away like if you think of energetically I don't know if you've done this type of meditation before it's like cord cutting technique when you could be um vibrationally attached to somebody else and I did this one time when I was releasing an ex-partner and I felt a cord from my heart to his and the the rope actually, it wasn't a cord, it was flipping huge. Like think of those big tug of war kind of big ropes. It was that big that I had to get these massive like hedge trimmers to try and cut it and little strands were coming off and they'd fly around and it was like, I'm chopping it off. And then when I let, let it go, it was like, I saw a scene from like Titanic when Jack's in the water just as Rose takes him off the door and he like floats away. And it was just like, it's upsetting, but it's like, it's peaceful. So it's like, this is a peaceful resolution. This is you finding the st that emotional stability, however that looks like for you in your life. Wow. Okay, Saturday. And I just saw the clock and it said 333. Okay, what do we need to know for Saturday? Oh, no, just one please. One card for Saturday. Can you fall out? I've missed you three times, please. Second guessing myself. I think because I'm getting hot. One card for Saturday, please, angels. Can you fall out? Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, it's the Ten of Cups. Ah, oh, this is, this is, oh, you know how we've been talking about balance for so long and partnerships? This is literally like the balance of the yin and the yang. This is blissful. This is, it's just the, it's the balance of divine masculine and divine feminine. feminine. And I feel like this is a truly beautiful time for you to be like, it's like free, it's floating, it's blissful. It's like you've had to you had to go through a lot energetically. I'm not saying this week is going to be easy. I feel like it's a lot about your perspective, like putting the rose tinted glasses on, dressing for success so you can feel good if you don't. 
And this is, it's, the, it's finding the balance, finding the emotional balance. I just keep going back to the King of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Hermit. All right, Sunday. So this is the Balsamic Moon. Well, this card definitely wants to come out. Ooh, okay, so the Five of Swords. So as you're reflecting on what has been, I want you to be grateful for the darkness because the darkness allows you to feel the light and to appreciate the light when it comes. But this card at the Five of Swords is also like not being swayed by the darkness and not being so caught up on like a little error. Oh, I heard a song then, but I lost it. I'm not a stranger to the dark, fire away, they say. Cause we don't want your broken parts I learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say Cause we don't want your broken parts But I won't let that bring me down to dust I know that there's a place for words For we are glorious and the sharpest words gonna cut me down Yeah, so this is, um, this is me from The Greatest Showman it's like this is this is exact this is who you're meant to be this is this is who I'm meant to be this is me it's like yeah just think of like when the sharpest words which I think the sharpest words is like the darkness in this picture it's like if it's going to cut you down you know just say I am where I am and it's okay do your self-love practices if you feel sad cry it's okay to cry crying is a way to heal the emotions and I really want you to embrace the darkness because this is reflecting on the darkness in which you have been through, you know, and not carrying that forward. Um, if you feel like there's been a lot that you have been holding on to and you don't want to wait another two weeks to release it on the full moon, you can release at any time. That's the thing. I remember when I was going through a really difficult time with a family member, I was releasing every time she would text me and I was like, oh God, so like I'd be in the shower. Um, with the water off, but I've like, have, I've written my letters. I'm sitting on the floor of the shower with my little tin, with my matches burning all of the negativity from what's just coming out of me. Um, yeah. All right, let's see what the focus card for this week is. Cause this is all about not laying, allowing the darkness of what has happened to dictate where you're going. You know, it's, it's helped to, make you stronger and to protect and, and it's shown you how you need to protect your vibration to move forward whoa okay so now we have the high priestess this is the intuition the higher knowledge it's so because it we had the hermit too but this is also um fertility as well because we've got the pomegranate up here but this is also being in sync with the moon too because she's got the crescent moon and then she's got the what's the other one the balsamic moon She's working with the phases of the moon, but she's like very free. And it's so interesting because I see like a mane around her hair and I see that as like the eye of the, like the tiger, you know, finding that inner role, that inner strength um, to find that balance, to take your power back, to grow your lady balls and be like, I am where I am and it's okay. And how dare you speak to me like that? And if anyone's attacking you, you're just mirroring to them what they don't have or what they need to heal. Um, because it's like whenever people are angry at you, they're not really angry at you. You know, you're just reflecting to them something that doesn't sit well with them because that's an opportunity for them to grow and heal. But you're on a different journey to them. So just focus on you. Focus on meditation. That is massive for this week. Focus on meditation. Focus on what feels best for you? What feels best for you? This is, it's interesting because when I filmed this yesterday, the theme song was Innocent Eyes from Delta Goodrum. And I didn't get that card today, but I feel like the message is still the same. Using that childlike innocence to do what feels best. You know, a child can get over a, um, an argument very, very quickly if someone has upset you, or maybe you've upset somebody else and it doesn't feel right. And you're like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Um, Always think about your actions when things don't go right. Like, how do you respond? Like last week wasn't all rainbows and lollipops, you know, last week was tough. Um, I definitely felt it. I feel like being here in another country, in a third world country, 
has had a lot of challenges. Like I don't have the things that I usually could buy at a grocery store. Um, and if I do find them, tea bags are like six bucks here for twinings and they're full of chemicals. And it's like, I bought them because I'm like, I want to have some tea, um, which is like, you have to make the best of where you're at. You are exactly where you need to be. The universe has sent you to where you are, either the relationship, the job, the family instance, that you, um, circumstances that you're going through, or maybe the house, wherever you are in your life right now, there is an opportunity for healing. You have to surrender to it. If you have walls up everywhere, you're gonna delay the process. If you're struggling with this and you're like, okay, I'm ready to heal. What do I do, Mel? How do I get to where you're at? How do I get to where your clients are at? I will highly recommend that you check out my free exclusive training because I'm gonna teach you how I have been able to heal my childhood traumas so that I can manifest anything. You know, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I manifested this massive spa bar behind me. Um, and <laughs> it's interesting because I asked the universe for a pool, which technically is a large body of water outside. I didn't specify in my manifestations how big it was to be. I just manifested a large body of water, which actually turned out to be quite perfect because it's got jets on it. And I'm like, okay, how would a child react in this instance? So it'd be like, oh, let's play games. Let's turn the jets on. Let's fill it up with bubbles. And, you know, let's dive under and find all the magical treasure, you know? So it's like, you can do, it's like do the best in the situation with where you're at, but knowing that you can always move forward and where you're at doesn't mean that you can settle, but the universe will always bring you more when you are thankful for exactly where you are. Stay true to you, follow your intuition. What feels right. If you're not in the receptive mode, you need to check out my free training um, because I, it's a 20 minute video that I made for you. It's very in depth and I talk you through how I've been able to heal. And then at the end, you will have the opportunity to book a one-on-one -on -one, um, free strategy session with me if you are accepted. Um, I've had so many that I've had to change the criteria, which allows people through. Um, and I need people who are willing to invest in themselves um, to jump on those calls because I have to prioritize because I have so many people that are trying to book in. I have to prioritize those people, should they be accepted into the program, have money to invest in the program. So I'm not saying you have been unsuccessful just to be mean. I'm saying that because we need to be an energetic match um, because the work that I do, it's highly life transformational and it takes a lot of my time and energy and I want to be working with beautiful dream clients. So I always say this, my dream clients have ears and they hear when I call them. You can apply that to any area of your life. Your dream career has ears and it hears when you call it. You have to act as if you already have it. So if that means that you're working at this new fabulous, um, I don't know, art studio, you have to dress as if you were going to work every day. Pack your lunch the night before, you know, wake up early, do your self-love practices. Um, pretend that you have, you know, uh, that you have stocked money on your bus card if you need to catch public transport or whatever. There is so much involved, but I'm saying basically, long story short, if you need help, I would absolutely love to be a part of this beautiful healing journey with you. Just check out the free exclusive training and then we can go from there. All the details are on my website, melaniekatelove.com forward slash free training or check out the end card or be linked in the description. Anyways, my love, I just want to say, oh, something just fell down. Welcome to nature. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much for being patient with me and being understanding. And for all of those beautiful souls that have been following me and sending me all of those questions about Bali on my Instagram, I will actually make you an IGTV episode. So if you want to find out more about how I manifested Bali, why I'm here, um, Peter is with me as well, of course. So many of you were like, is Peter with you? I was like, yeah, I just don't really choose to share that part of my life. I like to keep that separate because he's my most important person in the whole wide world. So I like to keep it very separate and protect that vibration. I don't wanna be parading him all over on my Instagram. But yeah, I'm sure you understand that. But anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And apologies again for this being late. Oh my God. Anyways, my love, I will see you next week. 
Have an amazing week. Please make sure that you take time to just rest. And it's amazing that the balsamic moon fits in with the weekend. So if you work Monday to Friday, this is perfect for you. Maybe you have a sleep, turn your house into a hotel, whatever you need to do. Oh, also, um, I just found out that, what's that new movie? It was Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. It just came available. I was like, oh my God, I can watch that this weekend. Amazing. A Star is Born. Oh, because I missed it at the cinema. Um, yeah, I took too long. But anyways, I'm so excited to watch that. So I'll be watching that in the bus, I think, moon, which will be amazing. <laughs> anyways, my love, have an amazing week and I'll talk to you soon. I love you, I love you, I love you. Goodbye.